Eric Beam does a good job in the public of of being calm and cool about it, but I can't imagine how he actually feels. Yeah. How Todd Bowles feels. You know, these are two mm-hmm. really good coordinators. Leslie Frazier, how they feel uh, about being passed up for head coaching jobs because all three of those guys deserve a head coaching job. And mm-hmm. the the Chiefs offensive staff now, if you talk about David Coley from what was that a few years ago when you had now Coley or Nagy Peterson Reed. Mm-hmm be enemy that offensive staff was good add coley in there too that's five guys that um three four of them that are head coaches really five potential head coaches right there yeah. i still think eric Bannemi should be a head coach um obviously but it's it's the chiefs have been good and andy reed is good at cranking out coaching prospects and we'll see how it goes um i i not quite losing out hope for eric Bannemi. i think that next year is going to be a real telling year but I think Connor brought up a good point on yesterday's podcast. Maybe the Chiefs going this deep in the playoffs hurts them, or hurts Eric Bannemi, I should say. Sure. Um, in terms of it, but hey, if you're if if you're a team and you don't want to take a coach from the Kansas City Chiefs, what are you doing? Like they're just going to keep yeah. the band back together again. They didn't lose any assistant coaches last year, and that's probably probably the reason why they were so good this year. So they're going to let them do the same thing again. Like, what is the NFL thinking? Well, and teams have waited for Super Bowl runs or for playoff runs to end to hire head coaches. So like if yeah. Eric Bieniemy is your guy, you shouldn't have any problem waiting and that shouldn't even play 1% into the reason of you not hiring him. Like if he's the guy for the job, it doesn't matter when he's going to be ready because within the next month, within the next 2 weeks, he's going to be ready for the job. So I just I don't get it. It literally makes zero sense and I wish that he would get a job. And if Mike Kafka, I love Kafka. If he mm-hmm. ends up getting a job before the enemy, then something is wrong. Like I, yeah. it's just frustrating. And he was getting a little bit of buzz. I never thought he was going to get one, but he was getting buzz for it. And he hasn't even been a coordinator yet. So I, it just, it right. doesn't make any sense. He could get sniped for a coordinator job and I would not mm-hmm. be surprised at all. Sure. That's probably the next direction he's going with Eric Benjamin not leaving it looks like he might have to go elsewhere to get a coordinator job Um, because that's just the natural progression of of his career. But you're totally right. Um, I didn't want to spend too long talking about this, but um, this was going to be kind of one of the things that we like hit on really quick before we got to our main part. But Mm -hmm. man, this just fires me up. It's so ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Um, I don't think we can ignore the race aspect of this either. Um, Mm -hmm. It's it's not a coincidence, right? (laughs) I don't think that it's a coincidence at all. I know it's not fun to talk about. It's kind of uncomfortable to talk about. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason that there's a Rooney rule. Like that's that right. There's a reason that teams are required to hi- to just interview minority coaches, mm-hmm. which is insane that there has to be a rule. Any right. Yes. And, and that's absolutely bananas. And then they incentivize it even more and teams don't even take advantage of it. I, yeah. It's it's beyond me. It's probably beyond my pay grade to talk about it. But um, mm-hmm. I, I it just something that I'm very passionate about is just Eric being and in the whole head coaching carousel and only one black head coach hired in this cycle out of what is it seven jobs you only Mm -hmm. had two minorities out of all of it i mean come on you you just got to do better and there's there's it's not like they're it's a thing zach taylor okay take him Mm -hmm. for an example in cincinnati how come he is given an opportunity but when eric b who's over 50 who has plenty of coaching experience in the nfl mind you Mm -hmm. any of head coaching or just coaching experience in the nfl how come he doesn't get the opportunity how come the opportunity is given to zach taylor or you know arthur smith or somebody like that or nick sirianni but it's Mm -hmm. not given to eric bianami that's just something that that really irks me in this whole situation and people like point at mike tomlin and marvin lewis and guys like that who were given long leashes and maybe overstayed their welcome a little bit and stuff like that I think Tomlin's still a fantastic coach I thought Marvin Lewis was a decent coach I get that but you have to get a start somewhere like you can't point to them having long careers in the NFL and saying oh black head coaches do fine black head coaches are a big part of the NFL it I don't care about tenure I care about these guys getting chances to do their job like you there's really no comparison to be made. Like there is a problem. Clearly Um, teams are being incentivized, not only to interview these guys, but to hire them, which you shouldn't need to be incentivized to do this. Like if someone's qualified for the damn job, you should hire them and it shouldn't be that hard, but 
Um, like you said, it's above my pay grade too. And it's something that we could talk about for literally an entire podcast. Yeah. And I think that it's just crazy that teams have to be incentivized to do the right thing and do something that's going to be mm-hmm. good for your organization. Right. Which seems yeah bizarre. Um, it's just something that, that really, really gets to me. I think that this whole, uh, that's, this is the aspect of it that, that I hate to I hate that it is it even is a thing that we have to talk about. Um, but but it is. It's the reality of the world that we live in. And now we've spent probably more time than I wanted to to talk about Eric Bietamy, but it is time that we needed to talk about Eric Bietamy. Oh, yeah.